हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ट्यूब टेल्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न मोर अबाउट लाइफ साइकिल मेथड्स हाउ लाइफ साइकिल मेथड्स वर्क वर्क्स इन रिएक्ट एंड हाउ वी कैन यूज इट इन फंक्शनल कंपोनेंट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन द फंक्शनल कंपोनेंट लाइफ साइकिल मेथड्स लेट मी नो इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न अबाउट द लाइफ साइकिल मैथड्स फॉर द क्लास कॉम्पोनेंट एज वेल सो वट इज़ लाइफ साइकिल मैथड्स लाइफ साइकिल मैथड्स अलाउज यू टू कंट्रोल द कॉम्पोनेंट्स बिहेवियर एंड ऑल्सो वी कैन डू स्पेसिफिक एक्शन एट डिफरेंट स्टेजेस एंड हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ लाइफ साइकिल मैथड्स वी हैव इन रिएक्ट वी हैव थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ लाइफ साइकिल मैथड्स वन इज माउंटिंग अनदर इज अपडेटिंग एंड अनदर वन इज अनमाउंटिंग सो वट इज माउंटिंग फेज माउंटिंग फेज इज वेन अ न्यू कॉम्पोनेंट इज क्रिएटेड और इंसर्टेड इन द डोम सो माउंटिंग फेज ओनली हैपन्स ऑन द इनिशियल रेंडरिंग पार्ट okay now what is updating phase updating phase is whenever a props or a state or anything is changed in the component that time this updating phase occurs so uh, it it can happen multiple times in a component and what is unmounting phase unmounting is a phase where like any component is detached from the dom that time this unmounting happens so for every life cycle phase or uh, life cycle methods has been defined in react so for mounting phase it is defined as component did mount for updating it is defined as component did update and for unmounting it is defined as component will unmount so this is the diagram which is representing the life cycle methods which we are used in uh, class components but in functional component we don't need to use all those things these life cycle methods can be supported by using hooks which is provided by the react so there is one hook use effect which can achieve all those three life cycle methods in functional component so to support life cycle methods in our application we have to import the use effect from the react library and then we have to define the use effect this use effect takes two arguments one is the functional function argument another one is a dependency argument so here we have to pass the second arguments okay so second argument is optional in the use effect the second argument tell us okay which life cycle method it is currently supporting and what needs to be done on those life cycle methods so as you now currently seeing we are not passing any argument here so this method will always run whenever this component gets re-render okay but if we are passing the dependency like blank array that means it is a component did mount like it will only works for the first render it will not work on the next rendering part okay and if we are passing the argument with some dependency like let's suppose i'm using this state right and if i'm passing okay whenever the color is changed you have to again do this thing like you have to do the console part okay so it will run if you are passing this dependency as a color then it will run on the first render as well as on the dependency value whenever this dependency value gets changed so that is your updating phase so this this will call as a component did update so let's see in the console part how this mounting unmounting and updating is showing in the console as i have provided the default dependency a blank array on the mounting phase and i am using a return callback for the unmounting and i have providing the dependency color for the updating so as if i go to the console if i just refresh it i can see okay mounting and updating both are calling why we haven't change any state or props still why it is calling the updating as i already told you if we are providing any dependency it will call on the first render as well as on, on the updating part but this mounting will call only once so as you can see in here it is calling mounting and it is then calling updating now if i click on click me here we are changing the red color into a blue that time it is just calling the updating because the props or a state has been changed here and then that's why it is a calling updating phase but it is not calling the mounting phase so as you can see i have created a new component for the unmounting component here i have used the use effect with the return callback and here i am doing the console.log for the unmounting so that i can show you how it it is coming in the console part okay so what i have did i have created one button once i click on this delete the component this component will get detach from the dom and it will not show on the screen okay so for that as you can see here i have a delete component by default it is coming and mounting component but if i click on this delete the component 
it will remove the component from the dom as you can see there is no unmounted component now and in the console if you go and check the new component which we have created is consoling this unmounting phase as well so with return callback we can achieve the unmounting phase in the functional component so as we discuss second argument is an optional part right so let's suppose we are not passing any dependency in the second argument we are not passing any second argument now how it will works this use effect will always run whenever this component gets re-render okay so let's see in the browser how it works so if i go and refresh this page this is the rendering the mounting phase right so this time you you can see this is showing this always render part now if i try to change the color from red to blue actually which i am just changing the state value right so what will happen that time also it will show you this always render okay now if i try to use click on this delete the component and try to unmount this component right that time also it will work okay so if we are not passing any dependency as a second argument that time it will always re-render whenever or oh, sorry always run whenever we are rendering the component okay if we are passing a blank array as in a dependency it will only work on the first render of the component as you have seen here but if we are passing the dependency with some values that time it will work on the mounting phase as well as on the updating phase as you can see here and unmounting will work whenever you are detach anything from the dom element it will work in the same way I hope it's clear now how lifecycle methods works in the functional component. Let me know in the comment section if you have any query or suggestions. Thank you everyone for watching.